Okay, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on my lunch break and lately, since I, um, probably the last week, every time I'm on lunch break, I have a word. Like something drops in my spirit that needs to be talked about. And so today I wanted to talk about that. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video because we want to reach more people. So, um, and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about if you are a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, you believe in the Most High, you know, you are a Christian, like, you shouldn't p treat people any kind of way. Like, you can't talk to people any kind of way. Like, if you are a believer, if you're on this journey, if you're walking this path that we're walking on, like, you have to be careful how you treat people because, um, and I see this lately, and then I know sometimes people just really get on our nerves or people can do some stuff that makes you like, oh my God, I really want to say something. But if you have the Holy Spirit, living on the inside of you you can't just say whatever you want to say you have to be led by the holy spirit because we are the light that shines in the midst of the darkness like we have jesus christ living on the inside of us so that means we don't go by our own uh will the things that we want to say we go by what the holy spirit wants to say so we have to be led by the holy spirit like some it's crazy that a lot of people who profess to be christian or to be you know a minister or a leader like really have nasty attitudes and really treat people any kind of way and even if you did offend somebody like you offended someone and uh or maybe they took it the wrong way the holy spirit should reveal that to you to cause you maybe to go back and make sure you get that straight you know now some people you do have to deal with in a some people just are going to be offended let's just be honest some people just offended people it doesn't matter what you say you can say it out of love you can say it in, in a very wise way but they are still going to be offended like you cannot worry about that but you know within your spirit if you said something that could have been said a different way you know and you can go back and make that right with that person because we're different than the world um we don't just treat people any kind of way you know we're supposed to be patient with people as people of god we're supposed to be patient with one another having love for one another you know and so when you with the holy spirit comes discernment and you can discern different things you can discern like if hey maybe i shouldn't have said that that way like that shows that you are a true believer when you know how to go back and apologize or go back and make something right that you said. You know, I'm always conscious about how I treat people and what I say. And, um, you know, I try to use wisdom when I, you know, talk to people and I try not to get out of character because that's not a trait of the Holy Spirit. That's not a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And so I desire to be a light. And that's what we should all do, desire to be a light. So, you know, being very rude with people, telling people a piece of your mind, like that's not that's not a godly um, person. Like that's just not, you know. And it's time out for people seeing us that way. People who say they are leaders and all this kind of stuff, and not even leaders, just people who just say they are Christians. Like we have the... We have to watch how we treat others. We have to watch what we say to other people, you know, and it goes back to having the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, then you will watch what you say because the Holy Spirit will lead you. If you let him, he will lead you. And so uh, we do have to be conscious of those things as we represent the kingdom of God. You know, we want God to take us to the next level, but we don't know how to treat people. And the biggest thing I see like on social media is people hurt by other people. People think people are hating on them, like they're, uh, you know, stabbing them in the back. Like we always post and post about somebody else. That's the biggest thing. We don't know how to live here on earth and interact with one another in a righteous way. Like it's it always has to be something about someone else. So, you know, I just wanted to come on today to maybe just share with you to be conscious about, you know, how you treat other people. Like you can't just have an attitude all the time. And if you do have an attitude all the time, or maybe you just are an angry person or things just make you angry, things that just frustrate you, you know, because we do get angry and people can rub us the wrong way, but how we react to it shows who we are in God. 
and how you react to the next situation that you're in shows who you are in God. And when you can overcome those things and when you can change how you um, address situations in a godly way, God takes you to the next level. God honors that, you know. He honors when you're patient with people, when you're loving with people, when you're kind with people. You know, even when sometimes people are just going to be ignorant and you got to pull back. He honors that. He honors the pool back, you know. So I hope this helps someone um, who may be going through this or you just want to say, Lord, I just want to evaluate myself and just see, am I that person? You know, we always have to examine. The Bible tells us to examine ourselves to make sure we're in the faith. And so I hope this blessed someone. Y'all have a good day and I'm going to enjoy my lunch.